She is a multiple Emmy Award winning talk show host and iconic stand up comedian. Her brilliant new show is called Ellen's Next Great Designer. Please welcome the one, the only, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> to see you. It's always nice to see you, we James. We are so happy that you are here in our studio and you already shot two episodes of your show today. <gasps> today? So how is it coming here now? It's uh, like a doing a third show. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. doing two and then another one. And then this. But this isn't going to be as long. I don't think. I'm he not here for the hour. Oh. That's, now, <laughs> that's an issue. Uh, we just dropped part two. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Now, We've seen a lot of each other recently, well, and I've loved it. What do you it. mean by that? Well, I've, I've we've seen... We've seen each other. Yes, we've often. seen a lot of each other. Yes. We've seen each other uh, I thought a you lot. meant that, you know, like, we've seen a lot of each other. No, we've always... <laughs> we've always been... We're both quite buttoned up. Yes. We're always, this is how we are we always, on our days off. That's it, this is yes. Like, yeah. But I, you very yeah. kindly invited uh, Julia and I over to your new house, which is... I don't want to talk about it too much, but I, it's the nicest house I've ever been in in my life. It's a, it's a beautiful house. We got really lucky that we found it. And it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful, but here's the thing. I've always wanted a pond. And as you know, there's that beautiful pond in the yeah. center of the property. And I just thought, wow, this is going to be so peaceful to sit there and watch all the nature. Because, you know, we, we have ducks, we have... Uh, herons, we have uh, aigrettes. Well, I've had a few. Not, I mean, <laughs> not too, too few to mention. Sure. Um, but we've had some aigrettes. And, uh, and th we had uh, ducks having babies recently, which I thought would be so adorable to watch grow up. Yeah. And, um, you know, you just if anyone has a pond and sees ducks having babies, just don't count them, don't name them, don't get attached, because they don't last. Oh. They, it's, it's sad. This is a sad story. I'm glad I came. <laughs> what I, my favorite takeaway from this story is what I've realized now is what you call a pond, I call a lake. Well, <laughs> it's a large pond. It's, it's it, a small lake. It's a small lake. It's a small... <laughs> Um, there is a boat on it. I mean, there is that. Um, a but, little like, a little, little, little rowboat. Like it's a, so a sweet gorgeous. Little rowboat. But yeah, it's, and it's beautiful, and we love the house, but the pond has uh, turned into, I mean, because there's hawks everywhere, and, right. and you know, I talked to the woman that I, I bought it from, and I said, I told her what was happening. She goes, yeah, I didn't want to tell you about, you know, that was not a good selling point. Like, oh, and baby ducks die. Um, so <laughs> I, um, I don't know what to do, and I told her, now there's a seabird that showed up, that is underwater swimming, just getting all the fish, because there's a bunch of, there's perch and catfish and everything in there. And the, the heron, which can't go in the water, is just looking around like, you know, you're getting all my, and it's just swimming around getting all the fish. And so she said, you should get an air horn to scare it away. I was like, how, how relaxing is that? You're yeah. sitting there just, you know, just like, um, ah! Yeah. Just, that, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom! Yeah. Yeah. That's, well, that's different. That's like if you're having as a party. But this yes. is the air horn that's just a scary air horn. Oh. Yeah, not, not like a party air oh, horn. Oh, I, I see, I'd yeah. mix it up. I'd make it a party. Get yeah, a DJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, <laughs> every time a hawk comes in, the DJ yeah, just yeah. fires it up and you're just like, shot, 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 shot. Talking yeah. of which, you got your first. You had your first shot, right? You and Portia? I, 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 yes, we did get our first shot. You, are you all vaccinated? Yes, I've had both, but you've had one, right? I have one, and uh, I just had like a very sore arm, but that's all that happened to me. But I, I had COVID before, so I was told that if you have your first shot, it's equal to having two shots, because I've had COVID and now a one shot of COVID that's in yes. me. So I really don't have to get the second one, but I do. Sure. But I'm gonna. Where did you go to get it? Is there some, is there a place out in Montecito for like, Really, in Santa Barbara, you know, really. For me and Oprah, if for you, like that. For you, Oprah, yeah. Yeah. Meghan and Harry. Is yeah. there a very bespoke, I imagine, like a small, yeah. you know, COVID emporium? Yeah, it is. It's CVS. Did you? Yeah. Did yeah. you really get it on Went there? to CVS. And, right. Yeah, because we got a 20% coupon while we were there. And um, we shopped. We got, you know, some uh, Slim Jims and some uh, a beach chair and a pregnancy test and just, you know. <laughs> 
Just the usual when we're shopping. So we should congratulate you because last week you just aired your 3,000th episode yeah. of, the, of Ellen. Which is a mind-blowing achievement. I can't actually get my head around this because we're on show 914. Yeah. 3,000 is incredible and I didn't know this. Many years ago you had an, a neighbour, uh, is this right, who predicted that you would get this show? She, t well, she predicted she was an astrologer, and uh, it was during my uh, drought, my, my three years of, of not working at all after I uh, came out, and I just didn't think I would work again because it didn't seem like that was going to happen. About a year into not being able to get a job, she wanted to read my, you know, cards or the astrology, and, um, and she told me when I was 45 years old I was going to start a brand new career, and it could go, it was going to be more successful than anything I've ever done. And it could go 20 years if I wanted to, to go 20. I was like, what, talk, what, what, what sitcom goes 20 years? I, I wasn't even thinking talk show. And at 45, I started this talk show. And it's now been 19 years. It's like she was, like, dead on. Like, wow. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that she said you'll start a new career at 45, I just think that doesn't happen in this town. Like, you just don't start a new career at 45 or go 20 years. And so, uh, yeah, and I talk to her from time to time, and she's still, like, amazing. She's, if anybody wants her number, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll take it. When you, yeah, I'd, I'd, have, I'd, I'd genuinely like to talk to her. When, uh, when you started your show, this is true, you had to... Is it true you had to prove to people that you could interview people? In yeah. Your... Is this right? Are yeah, you... I, I had to go to uh, my house. We filmed me interviewing uh, Tom Hanks and Alanis Morissette and um, I think Helen Hunt. I feel like there was one more person. And they just did it as a favor because I, you know, had become friendly with them. But, yeah, they didn't think I could interview people or talk to people because, you know, when you're gay, it interferes with conversations. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's, uh... Because people are so distracted, they just sit there, and then I don't know what to say. So, right. um, so yeah, I had to I had to prove that I could talk to people and interview people. And then when I started the show, they were like, you know, you can't make reference that you're gay. Don't bring it up. Don't even go in that area. You know, and and I had to like, you know, dress differently. I had to, you know, wear necklaces because. You know, it's shiny things distract people from the lesbianism. And um, so, yeah, I had to dress complete. I mean, they were really strict about, like, how I, how I appeared. Well, we've got a photo of you here. This is you on your that, first that's the, show. That's the first show. That was, yeah, that wasn't really... The necklaces hadn't... They hadn't... That was the very first show, so they hadn't made me wear a necklace yet. But, um... And I, I grew into that sh shirt eventually. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 How I different. like long sleeve. I like it to be long enough that if my arms grow. Yes. Uh, how, how different is this person to the person that we're talking to now? Um, you know, well, she was pretty happy because, you know, that's a, that was a big deal that I, I, you know, I'm starting a show and getting a chance. So I was very, very happy and very um, hopeful for everything. And... You know, I mean, just I think more naive than than I am now. But uh, you know, I'm I'm the same person. I'm, Did you I'm... ever think though on that day that like, oh, I'll do three thousand of these? God, no, I no, I don't, I don't even know what that means. It, I am with you on three thousand shows. It, it's, it's they tell me that, so I'm believing them. I, I don't know if they could just be saying that to celebrate on the air. You know, no one's counting. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, right. No one. We it really could be. You know. 1900 and we just say it so that people are impressed. I don't know. I think, I think you might be on something because I yeah. only know by looking at this card and I don't know who prints this card. Right. <laughs> so you see every single day it, it uh, the number? Every single day it says up here and this is 914. Wow. No, I don't even see the, the numbers on anything. I just, uh, so I could really, this could, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> Well, yeah. you've done 3,000 of this show, and now you have a, a brand new show, which we should talk about. I'm excited about this show. Yeah. Ellen's Next Great Designer. It's a, a furniture design 
competition. Explain the premise of the show. Well, I just, you know, I've always, I love furniture, I love design, and, you know, every time you look at a piece of furniture, somebody is, is making that, and there are a bunch of really talented, you know, amazing people out there that really aren't represented yet, so we started searching for all these people just out of school or um, in school and uh, got some really talented people, narrowed it down to a group that we loved, and they have a challenge every week to, to make something. And uh, you get to see the process, you get to see the stress, and plus they have a certain amount of time to do it. And um, the winner gets $100,000, and it's, uh, it's, it's fun to watch if you like design, and it's also just the whole process and, uh, of, of all of it. I, I, I love the show, and I'm, I'm really happy somebody bought it. It's really incredible seeing what these designers can, can build from, from kind of, you know, nothing, where their imaginations go. Were, yeah. you, were you useful? Building anything when you were at school? Like, can you build or make things? Well, the, first you said, am I useful? I think I'm useful. I, 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 I mean, I mean in, think, that, in that realm. I, I don't think that makes you not useful. Like, you can't, like... like well, thank God. Oh, she's useless. Thank you know, God. I mean, Otherwise, yeah. I am absolutely right. useless. No, I don't know how to do any of that. I just... I, it, I would save a fortune if I could make my own furniture. But, uh, but you know, can you make anything? Oh, no. I'm, I am appalling. I'm... Have, so bad. Have you tried? I once tried to do pottery, and I made a, a what I would call a vase, but many, many Americans call a vase. And um, it, within about forty-five seconds, I was like, "No, no, I'm building an ashtray." Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you, the show is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant, as are you always.